Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stan Lab. All right, y'all. We in here for Queen Sugar, uh, yeah. season the six, C episode 10. The, the last C episode, man. And I think we might got to win. <laughs> I, 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 I hope it's a win. Like the old people say, I can't call it. Yeah, I, I can't, can't yeah, call yeah, it. Yeah. I, I'm sitting here like, there has to be more time left on this episode because <laughs> what you're not going to do is leave it to my imagination. Right. I need to, to know fill it for sure, for sure, that we got to win. Because around here, we need the ocular proof. But one proof that we do have is that Miss Parker, she shook. Miss Parker is shook. <laughs> and for that, that's a win. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it. And you would be one of them. So we started off the episode where we got Hollywood. He has some sandwiches, some snacks, a thermos. And I said, hold a, on. A cooler? I was like, when the hell is you going? I said, because he don't work on, on the, the rig, rig no more. Because he got some money from yeah, the rig. Right. So where are you going? <laughs> we quickly found out that we see Mr. Hollywood going from pool hall to pool hall, bar to bar. I said, hold on, Hollywood. There has to be a plan. Well, the plan was to fish out Mr. Theo. Yeah. And I said, bet. Bet. We got you. So here's the thing. When you can get some loose lips to talk, they'll uh -huh. tell you everything that you need to yep. know. And especially when they think that they got the upper hand on you or that you intoxicated and you just don't know that, that they don't know that you're running game on them. They, everybody just sound like a canary. Like they were just telling Hollywood all the pieces to the puzzle. You, you make it sound pretty. What? He was a snitch. <laughs> don't it? <laughs> Let's call it what it is. He was a snitch. He was a snitch. Like, come on. When somebody come around me asking me about somebody... Especially with like your brother, he was like, "You don't know where your brother at." Yeah, that's a clue right there that he looking for him, man. Talk about some. Oh, he come here right before close. Close, yeah. First of all, we're not we're not giving <laughs> up that kind of information. No, 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 no. But that takes me back, segue to something that has nothing to do with this. But you was a there snitch. Was, I'm a corporate snitch. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said on Facebook, <clears throat> "Name your job in the worst way ever." And I said, I'm a corporate snitch. And they she was is. like, are you a cop? And I was like, I'm a corporate snitch. I'm a quality assurance analyst. Uh -huh. I tell on people all day. Yep. You make an error? <laughs> she reported back to your manager. <laughs> so I'm a corporate snitch. But anyway, so we saw that part. So I was like, okay, now we have a plan in action, right? So... Now we see a meeting of the minds. We have Nova, we have Charlie, we have Ralph Angel. They're sitting at the table and they have come to the consensus that, listen, we have to get this land declared as a historical site yeah. to be able to save and preserve the land from the Landry's. But in the meantime, we need to tie up Sam Landry's money. Like we need yeah. to, we need to spread him so thin then, yep. that when the time comes for us to fight, he does not have the leverage to even right. fight us with. Right. And I'm like, because Charlie good said he was plan. already over leveraged. I said, good freaking I, plan. I don't know. You know what? I do know how she know because she used to be on the inside. Yeah, she's been. Inside. That's right. Yep. So, and then you know, people's financial stuff is public record for the most part. Um, if you're doing it right. That part. <laughs> that part. Yeah. Um. So, um, Charlie ended up calling Aunt Vi, told Aunt Vi what the plan was and whatnot, because they ended up having a conversation with Ralph Angel, too, and he let them know, listen, the co-op is not going as fast as I wanted to, but it seemed like all the farmers are on board, where at least, like, what do you say, about 75% of them, of them are yeah. on board, so if we can push to get the rest of them on board, we have enough money to be able to outbid him mm -hmm. on that outlet mall that he's looking at. And then, like you said, the money is leveraged. He doesn't have enough money to counter back, to counter um counter offer counter offer us. Right. So <clears throat> boom, we got him on that front too. But we have to get the rest of the farmers on board to put all their money up. We right. come find out Mr. Prosper was one of the first ones first that gave one. up his check. Yep. I said, you know, that's big. Yeah. That's real big because when you have somebody that's of that age that yeah. has, I mean, that's... On a fixed income? Fixed income and that's 
to sustain him for the rest of his mm-hmm. life. Yeah. They put all of that money in your hands and they trust you. 40 G's. That's it. I, that's that's a that's a lot to put up, man. That's how we know Ralph Asia don't grew that you got somebody that's ready to back some money up yeah. behind his team. <clears throat> yeah. So But it's almost like they don't have a choice though. It's like don't. you gotta take yeah, it's a risk that they have to take. Or like uh, what you call it said, they're going to have to continue to eat the crumbs and struggle every year. Yeah, so I'm going to move forward a little bit and get him out the way because I don't like him. (laughs) And he gets on my nerves. And even after all of this, he's still, well, I don't know what I, where we're going to chalk. What up? So, Black Farmer Man. I don't remember his name and I, I, I don't care to know his name. But... Dollar and Ralph Angel ended up having a conversation with him because <laughs> are we surprised that he was one of the ones that hadn't put up any of his money? So they're trying to convince him that, listen, we need you not to put up some of your money. We're going to need you to be all, all the way all in, in on go this all in. because this is the only way that we can fight <clears throat> them and win and continue to take back what the enemy has stole from us, right? Right. So Dollar was like, you know what? What if you don't give us the money? What if you keep it? What, you're going to be okay for maybe one harvest? Maybe two. Maybe two. And then what you're going to do after that? You're going to keep going in this cycle of struggle Mm -hmm. and fighting these same people over and over again. If you join us, we have a guaranteed win. So he's like, well, you sure know how to talk a big bargain and pipe dreams and all this. My friend said, this is real. I was like, either give up the money or don't. Yeah, I feel pipe, it, though. Yeah, a pipe dream is we just talking about it, but we ain't, we ain't no action is going to be taken to make it happen. Yeah. So Ralph was like, this reality, us putting our money up is turning it, a pipe happening. dream into reality. We have a co-op going right. on right now. <clears throat> so after they had that conversation and we kind of have a plan, so um, Charlie asked our advice, said, listen, let me tell you what had happened. And we got it. But the only thing I need you to do is I need you to get Sam Landry to come to the diner tomorrow. As much as he tries to play hardball, for some reason that man respects you. So if you ask him to come, he will come to the diner. Because I'm about to hit him with the ooey. I was like, Larry, something ain't look like he had no more respect for no, him. No, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He said that you don't you don't play your last call uh-huh. with me. Yeah. So she said, All right, bet. I got you on that front, right? So we see no, but she ends up meeting with Dominic. Who is Dominic? Because Dominic moves fast. Yeah, he went all the way to Baton Rouge. <laughs> he put yeah. on his good Sunday suit. Uh-huh. And he came back with a whole certificate talking about, so, oh, it's done. It's done. Like We done wow. made this a landmark. But y'all still Wait, say, what? y'all say y'all don't trust him. I, I, I never got that from him. I, I did was, you know, I was wondering, like, why is he moving so fast like that for Nova? But and he I, got it so easy. But yeah. Like, but I, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. And then sometimes, also, we have this thing that if something is happening too good, too fast, too smoothly, we're like, uh huh. Who sent you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who sent you? What set you yeah. from? Yeah. What's your motive? Yeah. I know I'm like that. <laughs> yeah. So maybe Me that's too. what it is too. I'm like, mm. but I don't know. Dominic though came through. He came through in a big way. So now he's going to make his move on Nova. I said, first of all, I already told y'all a few weeks ago, Nova, you had to take one for the team. If he come through and he he saves our land, mm-hmm. you just going to have to pull him to the side. To the side. <laughs> told me keep my feelings to the side. I mean, that's what you're going to have to do. You have to take one for the team. You're going to have to go ahead and inhale, exhale, take it, and, and, and moan and groan and just get and Because we, we got things to do. We got generations to save. I'm sorry. We just got to do it. Huh? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> well, it don't look like she needs my offer or my persuasion to do so because he talked his way right on into her life. Like, mm. she was like, listen, I said I wanted to take things slow. No, he said he wanted to take, take things, things slow. Yeah. And she was like, you know, I learned a lot about myself. Um, I will not apologize for the person that I am. I am who God made me. And he was like, I don't want you to apologize for who God made you. Because whatever thing that God made, he made it good and wonderful in my sight. Uh-huh. And I'm here for it all. Uh-huh. So I seen her start to melt like she did when Calvin was around. I said, oh. So there you go. There that, it is. She right had there. that look in her eyes, man. So you ain't got nothing over my head, Nova. You pull the pads to the side on your own. <laughs> so I said, okay. Bet. 
But the question is, do, do y'all still not trust um, Dominic, man? What y'all think now? He came through. He came through. What y'all think, y'all? At this point, even if we don't trust him, can we just can we just flow with it right now? Because we got our land. Yeah, we're gonna we definitely gonna flow with it, man. All right. For sure, for sure. So Isaiah, <laughs> Isaiah comes over there to Micah's dorm, right? Because they've been avoiding each other, but you know Micah has been doing friendly gestures of appreciation, um, sorries, things like that. So he he came over there and he was like, you know, thank you for the food, the notes, and all of that good stuff. And they began to have a conversation because Micah presented Isaiah with that questionable picture that <laughs> just brought everything to yeah, where it is now. Right. And Isaiah was like, oh, you want me to have this? So pretty much, you know, Micah was saying, you know, I want to have a conversation. And in so many words, I don't know what to say because I don't know what I'm feeling. And Isaiah was like, listen, I got to go to class. But after that, we do need, need to it. have a talk mm -hmm. because maybe you need to face who it is that you are or what it is that you feel. And we can talk this thing through. And I said, oh, okay. this is where we're going. Well, later on, we come to see that it played out the way that I wanted it to play out. Because it came to this thing where Michael was like, you know, I'm not gay. I know I'm not gay. But the feelings that I have for you are so deep and intimate that what I'm thinking and what is over here, they just don't parallel with don't each other. Don't line up with society. That's yeah, what so it is. he's like, I don't know what to do with the feelings, but I don't want to sleep, sleep with, with you. you. Yeah. So <laughs> Isaiah was like, well, thanks. I don't, don't, don't want to sleep, sleep with you either. either. He was like, you know, I love you. Like, we, we are so connected. You're my brother. I want to be your friend. I love you. And, it's, and it is. It's so natural for females to do that. Like, right. We are all up underneath each other. Like, I was with my sis Shan this weekend, and we're just, like, all underneath mm -hmm. each other and, you know, <laughs> patting each other on the butt and stuff like that. And nobody even thinks anything about it. But, like he said, you get two brothers together that are super close, that um, share things and, you know, share heartfelt moments and bracing and things like that. And automatically society tells you that you're gay or mm -hmm. you have to be more than just friends or brothers or something like that. So it really played out the way that I liked it to play out is that you don't always have to take things and take it to the sexual realm right? when men are really good friends. Exactly. So I, I did. I said, okay, good job at writing it like that. You know, although most people, not even myself, I was like, okay, they're going to write it in that, you know, him and Isaiah are going to end up being a couple because Micah is gay in real life. So... I mean, I don't know if he's bi, but, you know, gay, bi, whatever. So, I said, oh, okay. I like this. I, I really did like how that went. Yeah, and I like how he, you know, came back and told Michael, I never wanted anything <laughs> from you in the beginning, in the first place. In the first place. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to be your good friend. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, that was powerful, too. Absolutely. So, <clears throat> so we have Charlie. Charlie had me choking up. You hear me? Yeah. Because I have been saying this from the beginning of the time. Charlie, go home. Yeah. Please go home. Go home and let the rest I of them I think we've been saying this themselves. since season one. Let them save themselves. Right. Let them work out their own problems because all they are doing is stressing you out. And as a person that is always the fixer in every situation. I'm young. 42 Ooh. years old. <laughs> and I've learned this one thing. That you cannot save nobody that don't want to be saved. Hello. <laughs> and you can't be the primary. And you can take that one. You one. can take that check to the bank and cash it every day of the week. Yep. And it ain't gonna bounce. It ain't gonna bounce on you. <laughs> mm -mm. And even if someone wants to save themselves, you can be primary and they secondary in the saving of themselves. But the question is because the question is for me is for you too. But you're not more of a fixer than I am, but you are a, a level of fixer. My fixer level is a lot higher than yours. But what what's what's in what's in us that make us do that? To put ourselves through that much stress and depression. Or like she said, making myself last on my to-do list. I can I can why am I raising my hand? Um, <laughs> you can talk. I can attest to and this is not a brag at all. 
So don't take it as that. Well, give it to me right then. <laughs> as a person that has more means than a lot of people in your family, or a lot of people that are in your, like, uh, more, not even just your family, but people that you love the most, and you're the person that have more means or more ways to fix situations or access to more things, Sometimes it's this blanket of res of invisible responsibility that people put on you that when things go awry, that they over there and they doing this and they going on trips and they doing this and they doing that and such and such is over here and they need some help and they can easily help them or they don't have no kids so they don't have the responsibilities that A, B, and C, and D have. So it's kind of that thing. Sometimes with people like us, I'm just speaking for myself, hmm. is that people look at how you move and what you have, and it looks like it's so much greater than them, and most of the time it is, but they feel like you have more flexibility and freedom to fix things that they may need fixed. Right. And sometimes you even feel that way because you don't want to see them out there suffering or sinking when you feel like you have a little bit of a life raft to throw to them. But if you keep throwing your life raft, you're going to be sinking too. Right. Right. So is it something in us that <clears throat> just can't pull away from it? Or what you say? Um, eventually you will, like I have. Don't look at me I, like that. I mean, I can't say I haven't totally pulled 100% away. Some people you can't, and I can honestly say that. Like some people say, you know, you just can't. I have come to terms that there's just some people that you can't, but you can put, you can put boundaries on it, but some people you just can't. Like, I got one in the air. <laughs> and, the, and the bad part about it, we know it's, it's unhealthy. Like, oh yeah. And that's why I love about Queen Sugar because it like puts the mirror up in front of your face and there's a lot of Charlie's man and, uh, that needs it needs to be fixed. I mean, it, it, it really does need to be fixed because she was she was going. You know, we we couldn't stand Davis West, but this new Davis they don't want they don't, they don't want us. Davis so East don't got me. So he done made this three this three sixty turn one eighty. Yeah, one eighty turn, and she was getting ready to throw that away because she wanted to become Congress to save these people. And I'm like Charlie. <clears throat> so that's what we about to talk about. Yeah. So Charlie broke my heart because Davis ended up, um, he had a layover. So he decided that he was going to post up in the backyard with a little picnic. I'm still box. trying to figure out how he did that. Because she... Cause when you have a few hour layover, you got to get through TSA. <laughs> Hey, we just go with it. Just go with it. He, I'm like, look, he had pre check. He got clear. I don't know. I was like, you said I got a few hours. Like, how many hours is that, boy? Because it takes a long time to get through TSA sometimes. You just make me think about <laughs> that last incident we had with TSA. Oh, no. It was weird, but it was good. And I really think he recognized us. You think so? Because it was no freaking way that this man did what he did. And he didn't we, do it for nobody else. Just to make a long story <laughs> short, we were trying to figure out, was he letting us through? <laughs> or he was or, pulling or us. He was pulling us to the side. We just didn't know. <laughs> but he, he locked the gate behind us. Yeah. And he said, he took yeah, my license and he, he said, said. I was like. And then he said. And so she walked. So I stayed put because I was like. He will get me. But he was like. <laughs> and this as we went through he like shut it down and yeah. then he sent us through this priority line that yeah, nobody, nobody else was there. Was in yeah. and nobody else went through it even no. if they had pre-chat he would not let nobody else go through it but us and even the other agent was looking yeah. like you know what what is he doing maybe he watch our reviews man but y'all know I also am the person that gets pulled in every country <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I must be on some kind of terrorist list. I don't oh, know what no. it is. But anyway, so like we said, David said, I got pre-check. I got clear so I can get back through TSA and get back on my flight. I hope so. So he's out there and he's got his little picnic and whatever going on. He caught him and Charlie's talking on the phone. He said, look out the back window. So she comes out there and she's just gleaming and, you know, they're, they're talking. And she had this moment where she kind of just exhaled. And she said, I'm tired. 
And he said, well, just lay down and take a rest. Like I was like, we ain't got no time for that. He's got she, a plane to catch. She said, no, no, no. Not no. that kind of tired. Like, I'm tired. She was like, I try to fix everybody. Mm -hmm. I put myself last. Like, I don't. I, I, my happiness is the last thing on my mind mm -hmm. when it comes to everything. And I move in a way that is so beneficial to everybody else that I'm no good for myself. But you know what? I was like, dang, Charlie. <clears throat> when I think about it now, think about when I create my to-do list mm -hmm. is that you prioritize everything else. You prioritize everything else. So if you whatever's at the bottom, it's most you. of the time doesn't make it to the top because something else comes along that seems more important that goes above mm -hmm. that. Yeah, I'm just using practicality. So, yeah, take yourself to the top of the list, Charlie. And you deserve you, it. And you too. Yeah. So she looked at Davis and she was like, I say yes. Hmm. I say yes. I say yes, and I'm coming home, and we're going we to sit at the stars. We were up here clapping. I was like, we're clapping going, for Davis East. And we're going on vacation, <laughs> and we're going to be on the beach, and we're going to wake up under the stars in our home. And I'm like, she said, I'm moving back home. Davis, Davis was like, I pray for this. <laughs> I've been praying for this. Say the prayers of the righteous avail of much. And she said, I've been praying too. And I said, thank you. Well, you say, come on through prayer. I said, come on, prayer. <laughs> I said, wait a minute, why am I getting choked up and I don't even like him? <laughs> he got me, y'all. Yeah. He got me. Darla got me this season, too. I ain't even gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, I'm, she never got gonna, you. I'm never gonna forgive her for what she did to Kenya. But she alright with me. Hey, but you need to forgive her, man. I don't. Not for her, but for you. I don't need no. Hey, ain't you trying to make it in the head? I don't I'm not gonna say what I wanna say. <laughs> but anyway, um, You can't make it in the head with unforgiveness in your heart, man. <laughs> I had an ex-boyfriend I talked about the past, but he used to always say, heaven is too boring for a nigga like me. I, I think I like hell better. <laughs> I was like, you need to stop saying. He was like, I don't want to be in there with everything. Oh. I said, that's what he said. I think I like hell better. I said, okay. But anyway. <clears throat> So we got that out the way. So next thing we know, we got Ralph Angel. He's on the phone with um Mr. Prosper and whatnot. And boom, dollars water breaks. Mm -hmm. So she's calling the doula on the phone. I said, oh, so y'all did have enough money to pay for the doula, huh? Well, the doula tells her, listen, we ain't going to make it. Where the hell you at? Yeah. Like, you select the doula that's not far from you so they can get to you. So where were you? <laughs> she said, you're going to have to do this on your own. And I said, you know what? God <clears throat> works in mysterious ways. Yeah, he do. Because they, they, the Lord knew they ain't had no money. So the Lord said, I'm going to empower you to do what your ancestors always did. Yep. Do it yourself. yourself. Yep. You and your mate do what you got doing self. So... Mr. Prosper and Billy came over to the house and Billy is helping with the towels and all that stuff. Mr. Prosper took Blue out and went on about their business whatnot. And Darla was like, listen, I got to get in the tub. Because at first I said, hold on, is something wrong? Like, she kind of had that Yeah, because she had that little look. pause like, like, like what's going on? Mm. But she going to get in the bathtub and we going to have us a little niece. Because you know, you know what I thought, man? Because I was like, I know usually when women are pregnant, it's a good chance that you might not make it. Yeah. And I was like, no. That's what I thought, I was too. like, no, no, we can't. We ain't gonna kill Yeah, we ain't now. killing Dollar off like this. No, no, no. But Come on now, Queen Sugar. No. Nah. But at the same time, our mind is connecting everything that we didn't see. Yeah. Because <laughs> we ain't yeah. seen Dollar have a baby. We ain't seen the baby. We ain't seen Gertrude yet. Gertrude, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blue, Blue got by her oh, by good with that one though. I said I'm by at least playing old. Gertrude. Gertrude. She said Gertrude. Gertrude. I said Blue. What you doing? <laughs> so anyway, he learned that from DMV. No, he didn't. That's what we say around here. Well, for I'm from, we just call people Gertrude. 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 No, Gertrude is their name, but Gertrude, who is whatever. who was named? I never name? know who it was. We just like I used to hear my you know family like you look like Gertrude. I don't know. We're going to leave it alone. It don't even matter. <laughs> so over there at the diner, <clears throat> Unvi and Charlie are all smiles, giggling. They ain't even hear Parker come in the door. I said, hold on, wait a minute. 
I'm gonna need y'all to be more more aware of your surroundings. Yeah. Like Micro Minute Pimp said, I'm gonna need your antennas <laughs> to figure out what's going on at my store. <laughs> so she comes in and Parker comes in full B mode. Oh yeah. Like, okay, well my father told me that y'all wanted to have a meeting. I felt like there was a rap, and I was, was right. right. So Charlotte was like, go ahead and pump your brakes. It ain't even nothing like that. So, But she called Charlotte, Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> which means that, oh, so this is what we going to do? Okay, so now we need Charlotte to read you all the way down. So Charlotte presented O. Parker with the certificate. Bam! Bam. She like, this real? This is real? She said, like, I'm not like, here to play no games real? with you. Like, this is real. Say, we, so, we can just go online and print this off on our inkjet printer. <laughs> This is certified from the law. <laughs> yes, indeed. So she said, your little daddy's little um, tactics and his little antics that he did were getting the bones exposed on the farm mm -hmm. actually backfired. Yep. And it worked mm -hmm. in our favor because once we were able to present the evidence that there were bones on huh? the property, huh? we were able to go uptown. Because huh? that's, that's what the people in the country say. I was able to go, go uptown, uptown huh? and get the certificate. Huh? To seal the deal that this land is now historical hey, property. Say what the devil meant for evil, God, God turned it around for my good. We <laughs> hope it is anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So she said, if you still want this land signed over, we can do that. But you know now Landry Enterprises is responsible for um, the upkeep. Upkeep, man. The yep. maintenance of a historical site. Which is a lot of money. Yep. And it's nothing that you can profit off of because you can't build on it. Yep. Can't so monetize. she was like, wait, 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 wait. What are you talking about? So pretty much she told Charlie, oh, y'all still going to sign Time this land, land over. By the end of the week. Because by hook or crook, we don't want you all to have it. So Charlie said, oh, it's not going to be that easy. It's not mm. going to be that easy. See what we're planning to do. And I was like, hold on. First of all, don't talk too much. I don't like to tell people what my moves are about to be. I want them to know what my moves were. But Charlie was telling them, said, listen, we about to go up there and build on, build on this co-op. I mean, the co-op is about to go build on that um, outlet mall that y'all been looking at. And we have enough money to do so. And we're going to take this neighborhood back piece by motherfucking piece. Yeah. And she was like, what are y'all talking about? So pretty much at this point, she is get ready to go with her tail tucked between her legs, but at the same time, expecting that on Friday, by Friday, this land gonna be signed over to her dad. Well, here comes Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood busts in the door with Theo. He must have whooped he, Theo's... He whooped him. He, mm. he knocked the brakes off that player. So Theo said, you know what? I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to talk about how y'all coerced me to uh -huh. set Ralph Angel up. This, that, and the third. See, I'm tired of y'all using me, man. So Parker was like, oh, no, 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 no. You're not done. You're not going to do this. And he said, listen, I'm done. Yep. I am done. I've yep. done enough. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. So Charlie said, oh, so now if you want the land or whatever, we can, I'm going to go. If she, if you come after my brother, I'm going to go ahead and file charges against you for entrapment. So yep. it's in your best interest, Parker. <laughs> Then she talking about some, well, I give you the land back if you renege, if you let the deal. I'm like, oh, no. I said, no, we're do getting that. both. Yeah, we're getting both. I yeah. said, I said, tell, y'all I said, tell her, Charlie, but then <clears throat> don't do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah tell her y'all not going to build on that arm. Because, because the shoe was on the other foot, they would take the land from you and that freaking mall that you're going for. Yeah. So Charlie said, hmm, you said that you wanted to come here instead of your father. And I'm glad you did. This was fun. Make more fun. <laughs> I was like, the Titans. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that was basically Queen Sugar. Like, what I said, like, everything is left to our imagination to fill in the gaps. Like, till next season. Did everything pan out the way they set us up for it? <clears throat> yeah. Because I hope of so. Queen Sugar's trend. <laughs> it's hard to get your hopes up, man. It is hard to get your hopes up. And so then they did announce. Yep. That next season will be the final season of Queen Sugar. I got one request, Ava. 
Let us win, man. Finally. Let us win. Let us leave that through all this struggle and challenge and trial to show us that we can still win. Because we Don't, do win. Because we do. So, please, please, yeah. we're begging you. Let us win. And don't let nothing happen to Unfair Hollywood. Well, don't let nothing happen to none no, of no, them. Yeah. And the baby. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, man, thank y'all for sticking around this season of Queen yes, Sugar with us, man. We enjoyed y'all. We hope that y'all enjoyed us. And we're going to see y'all on Power Book 2. Next Sunday. On next Sunday, y'all. This Sunday. Well, this is, Sunday? It, is this Sunday? Where's the 21st? <laughs> this Sunday. <laughs> we'll see y'all straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla! Boom!